Okay, welcome back everybody. This is, a, I guess, an armory bench uh, video. Uh, we're going to talk about some scope mounting and scope adjustment. Well, not really scope mounting, uh, administering uh, scopes. In this particular case, we're going to talk about the Steiner 5 to 25 scope. So this scope is a little bit different than some of the traditional scopes. And so we have a, uh, a couple, we have a couple Steiners and some Schmidt and Benders. Those are basically the two default brands that we run around here. And so um, this came up and is a good opportunity to film it because once we set the scopes on, on rifles, we, we can't really do all this kind of stuff because I'm not going to destroy zeros on, on work guns, right? Working guns. So let's go ahead and run this down because I know some of you with, um, Steiner, with a Steiner military, this is the military, what is this called? They call them the Steiner military. Here, there we go. The Steiner military brand of, uh, of a, a scope, the Steiner Military. This one's a five to five to twenty-five by fifty-six. This particular example is a G2B mill dot. It's basically a, a version of the mill dot. There's another version of this scope that is an MSR. Uh, this scope is getting up there in age relative to whatever uh, Steiner's doing right now. So there's no guarantee that everything I'm anything I'm saying right now applies to the modern Steiners. First thing is people are going to run into with these scopes is changing the battery for the illuminated reticle. What happens is a lot of people, they can't get this scope cover or this um, this battery cover off. And that makes sense because if you're turning this thing, you don't want to just suddenly, you know, all of a sudden unscrew your uh, your battery cover. So the, when you get it from the factory from Steiner, it's on pretty tight. And the reality is because how it's the battery that fits under here with uh, the the, there's a pad under it. Uh, it, it. It causes a fair amount of pressure under that cap. The battery is actually not a normal, uh, what is it, 2032 type battery. This is uh, a 2450. And so this particular example is by Sony. This is, um, we, we tend to, if you're asking brand, we like Duracell. And so we have some Duracells that we use. But you'll notice, see how thick that battery is? That baby's a lot thicker than your normal, you know, your normal uh, uh, scope batteries that you see. So to get this open, uh, what you do is you basically turn, you turn, use this hand, you turn it all the way on. So like fully 11 is, you turn it to 11, right, is on. And then one more click is the, is the battery saver, right? And then what we recommend is using a, a strap wrench and then that will that will turn it and crank it and get it off. And so then you can open it up and change your battery. So you can see all, I mean, it's a, it's a fairly, fairly big battery. And, you know, so, but it's on, it's on so tight that if you're not familiar with the scope, you're going to be thinking that you are damaging something. So as long as you basically turn these, the reticle all the way on and then to the battery saver, max all the way, max power, then use your strap wrench. That'll crack that loose and you can go ahead and, and you know get that open and change the battery. The next thing is dealing with the zero stop. This becomes an issue when you're moving a scope from say a zero MOA base to you know a, a 20 MOA base or 30 MOA base or you know whatever you got going on. And so a lot of times you'll have a situation where people, where they're trying to adjust the zero on their scopes, they can't get the, uh, they can't, they can't, they're, they're limited. The, the range of their scope doesn't allow them to actually hit that zero point. So they're, they're shooting high, right? So the first thing you need to do is back up off that for a minute and understand what you're looking at here. So you need to ask yourself, how many MOA or mills does your scope offer? And you need to see or figure out if you're if you have a bunch of mills on the other side of your zero stop. And there's a real simple way to do that. So, like this scope from Steiner is a 26 mil scope. So you have 26 mil radians of adjustment. So I have it on. Well, we're two below zero. So we're having it at zero as it sits here. This is not adjusted for this rifle, hence why we're making the video. So I'm going to go, we're supposed to have 26. Going up, there's 10, 
15, 19, 19, 1. So really 19, 3. So there's 19, 3 um, uh, mils of elevation. Well, obviously we're missing almost six mils. So where is that? That's on the other side of the zero stop. So we need to adjust we need to adjust the zero stop to, get the gra to grab some of those mills so we can zero this rifle with this base so we can march on. But with the Steiner, there are, it's a two millimeter, there's a two millimeter, um, let's do uh, one, this two millimeter hex screw, I think this has two of them. Let me lean over. So you release the uh, two hex keys. They say it's about half a turn. I'd say it's a, a hair more than a turn. So now the the turret is free, is not adjusting the uh, not adjusting the inside of the scope. So we knew we were about six. We we lost about six mils. So I'm gonna turn. I'm at three, four. Let's see, five. Let's do it. Let's try five and a half. So I've taken it down, it's not quite, it's barely to two on the zero stop, two below. Let's see how much elevation we have if I've done this correctly. Twenty-four six. So it's a 26 MRAD uh, scope and we're, now we're up to, you know, almost a 25. So I know from shooting this gun earlier that we didn't have enough of a, we didn't have enough adjustment down on the other side of the zero stop to be able to zero the rifle. So now we'll have plenty, we'll go to the range and we will, uh, you know, we'll fine tune the zero stop on the range and go ahead and set it from there and do whatever your preference is. I, I prefer to have a couple below uh, just so if I want to do some stuff shorter than 100 yards, and but I remember it, so I can, you know, find it in the dark. But that is how you adjust the, um, the zero stop on the Steiner Military Reticles. If you want to see any more stories or pictures or links of anything we discussed, please go to the website at john1911.com. That's J-O-H-N-1911.com. Remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day.